outside and work our way in for your spa, okay? You have a leather vinyl-like top material, okay? So I always advise that you hit it up at least once a month with some kind of leather vinyl care product such as Armor All, McGuire's, whatever it is you like to use. It's pretty much like a dashboard. You don't want the material to dry and crack. If it does, rain has a way to seep through and saturate the foam. It'll make it extremely heavy. It's relatively light. It's still new, so try to keep it as light as possible. These things are not cheap to replace. They're about 500 bucks easy, okay? When opening your top, okay, I advise that you do not do this from the center, okay? You can easily tweak your back, twist it around like this if you catch a little resistance from the wind, okay? So, start from the front corner with your palms facing up, okay? You're gonna scoop this corner up, you're gonna lift it up, pivot your hands or rotate your hands to right your high point, and allow the top to fold over the bar, okay? So, we'll scoop it up, we'll lift, we'll walk towards the back and rotate our hands around it at the high point the cover to flop over okay now if you notice we have a little expunged corner right here okay so we're going to use a little bit of that along with the top without overextending ourselves and we're going to repeat the same process of lifting walking towards the back and rotating our hands around as we high point okay so we lift up walk back rotate our hands and it hangs and dangles just like so okay create a little privacy wall for you Make sure that you undo the back clips if you ever have them clipped in before you do this because you will snap those, okay? You can get replacements, but they won't be the same. You'll have to make a weird little snip at the edge to get it on because everything is hand-stitched on those covers, okay? So, now that we have our cover open, you can see you are already filled up with water, okay? How we filled up? We fill up through the filter area, which is in this back corner right here, okay? So, remove whatever lid you have in the way. There's usually one to two filters inside your filter area depending on the tub, okay? So, you have two in this spa. We're going to remove one of these. I typically take the right side out just because I'm right-handed, okay? So, you can grab whichever one you like, whichever floats your boat. But you'll unscrew it. When you pull it out, you'll see it's got pleats, okay? Underneath, it has plastic threads. So, when taking it in and out, do not over crank it. You only need to make it hand snug so you do not strip those plastic threads, okay? Then you can take it out and move it to the side. Inside of there is an exposed pipe pole, okay? That leads to all of the bottom plumbing. What we wanna do is we wanna feed our hose through that exposed pipe hole and fill the spa from bottom to top, okay? This will help push the air out of the lines and fill the spot from bottom to top to reduce the risk of getting what's called airlock when you first start the tub up, okay? Airlock is when you turn the jets on using the uh, top side control button, but the water doesn't come out. Typically what happens is there's a little tiny air bubble blocking the line somewhere, typically in front of the pump, okay? If you fill through here, it significantly reduces the risk of getting that airlock, okay? When you fill it up, you're gonna fill it up on this one to this graded air, top of this graded area, okay? Just to the bottom of the cir plastic circle. This plastic ring right here, as long as the water line touches that plastic circle, you're okay, all right? It's typically gonna bring you right beneath the headrest, okay? That's typically about where a water line lies is right beneath the headrest. Now, you're gonna lose a little bit from evaporation, water displacement, all that good jazz, okay? So when topping your water line off, you can take your water hose and lay it over the side anywhere. It's not gonna harm it one bit. You don't have to remove any filter or anything, okay? But when you're filling up from whenever being empty, always use that method, okay? So you can lay your hose over the side when topping it up and make sure it stays there. This is to avoid drawing air through the filter area and creating that airlock. If your water level rides for too low for too long, you will take a gulp of air through there and create that yourself, okay? And you can possibly burn up a pump. You'll know if it's a little too low and you haven't been paying attention because the le uh, the jets will begin to lag. They'll go, woo, woo, versus steady streaming water out, okay? And that's how you can prevent that from happening. But once you're filled up, you can then turn on your spa. Follow me, Michael. Hold on one second, we'll put the filter in. Okay. 